When Princess Diana's baby boy fell in love with a gorgeous American starlet, we all went, ah. Oh. Then things got even better. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were married and in doing so took on the role of Duke and Duchess of the world. Are you serious? But now something has happened. The couple appear to want a little privacy. Too much to ask? You bet. The public feel cheated, the tabloids have turned, and the blame game, much of it directed at Meghan, is fierce. OK, I'm listening. You have my attention. It hasn't yet progressed to off with her head, but it's still a major headache for the royal family. Nice. It started so well. A dashing prince with the love of his life. The announcement of an engagement. It's beautiful, and he designed it. It's incredible. And oh my God! Plans for a wedding. Sure, there were a few hiccups. She's not gonna tell me that I can't speak. 15 months. What is he doing? The fairy tale has fractured. And one person is copping all the blame. Andrew, what on earth has Megan done? <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. Well, Megan seems to be a version of the Antichrist as far as Fleet Street are concerned. And it's almost a royal rite of passage you've got to go through. Andrew. Are you serious? Morton has spent a lifetime making the private lives of the royal family public. But he reckons Meghan Markle bashing has gone too far. You don't know what's going on, really. And, and yet the, the, the kind of casual vituperation of, of Meghan and Harry is, you know, is, it makes you shudder. I mean, it's not like she's done anything wrong. She's just basically living her life as a royal. She's, in, in my view, she... Wait for it. She's done everything right. It's quite revealing that Meghan said when she joined the royal family that she was going to hit the ground running. Unlike Morton... Former Palace Insider Patrick Jeffson said what? as Meghan needs work to make it as a royal. Now, of course, we love people who hit the ground running. Energy, enthusiasm, motivation, let's do it. But you've got to know where you're running to and who's running with you. And what are you going to say when you get there? At what should be the happiest time of the newlyweds' lives, Things have gone famously awry for Meghan, and in turn, Harry too. Are you serious? Eyebrows were first raised when taxpayers funded their $4 million house reno. The Duke and Duchess have been criticised for demanding privacy, yet still accepting taxpayers' money for renovations on their home. Oh my God! More tut-tutting when the couple kept little Archie away from public view. I mean, they could have come out in a glass carriage just to show us the baby in the christening gown. Then Megan was slammed <gasps> for acting like a snob at the tennis. This is not a private visit. If you're the Duchess of Sussex getting a freebie at Wimbledon in the VIP seat, it's not a private visit. And now, a further frenzy of outrage because the... Here it comes. These eco-warriors like to travel in style. A lot of people have labelled them hypocrites because they've taken four private jet flights uh, in just 11 days. Andrew Morton says... Are you serious? It's just not worth the hot air. It seems to me that Meghan really should be given applause, not... Uh, uh and bouquets, rather than the attacks that she and Harry are suffering from. I don't think they're listening to you. Though. Stop it! The... Who's they? Well, the press. Has she really provoked the British media so badly? The British media are notoriously fickle. They have an antenna. Are you serious? For when the royal family is not being entirely straight with them. And this may be why Meghan and other members of the family have taken far more control of their own image. I mean, look at all these tourists here. 
a lot of people, and it's a sunny day. Yeah. Well, you know who they've come to see, Harry and Megs. Almost there. They have not come to see Harry and Megs. They've come to see the Queen. They've come to pay respect to the great British tradition of the monarchy. Mm. They've come to see real royals. Outside the gates of the world's most famous family home, today there's only one winner in a popularity poll about young royal wives. Kate <laughs> is a billion times better. A billion times yeah. better. Meghan does not hold a candle to Kate. I'm here with British commentator Katie Hopkins. Megan's really? interesting. No, she's fickle, she's of the moment, she's this deep. Who's Are you serious? Says someone has to speak for the commoners and expose the real Meghan Markle. Katie, why do you hate Meghan so much? Uh, what has she ever done to you? Oh, uh, everything. It's my royal family, this is my country. Fact. Prince Harry is my Prince Harry. So you're jealous? I, I'm not jealous of Meghan. Who wants to be Meghan Markle? Like, I'm unpopular. Mm. I'm known as the biggest bitch in Britain. Mm. The only person in Britain who's more unpopular than me, Meghan Markle. I, I don't think that's right. I think that's true. Katie is nothing if not outspoken, but she genuinely believes the future of the royal family is at stake unless Meghan Markle is banished for <gasps> forthwith. Meghan Markle is the biggest hypocrite there is. What does Meghan Markle do? Oh, we've got to save the planet, save the planet. Oh, do one good thing every day. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Then what does she do? She do get on four private flights to wherever land at £400,000 a week higher and then uses up half the CO2 emissions that anyone else might have had. It's pure hypocrisy. And what is she really? She's a no one. Uh, that doesn't make sense. She's a divorcee. When did we want a divorcee in the royal family? She wears bad clothes. When did we ask for that? We've just got so much better of our own. You know, Strong words, new, maybe some embellishment, some. but here in Britain, it's backed up by Meghan's disapproval ratings. Okay. A recent survey found the Duchess divisive and ranked her the second most disliked female royal after Camilla. There were old, knackered old skeptics <laughs> like me, old, haggard women going, oh, that doesn't look very good. And then sort of the young, beautiful people going, oh, we love her social media, oh, fabulous, fabulous Beyonce. That's the split. And the haggard ones have got even more entrenched in their hatred. And I think even the young ones are sceptical because Prince Harry's lost all of his okay. va va -voom. What irks Katie is the damage she thinks Meghan is causing to Harry's reputation. Fact. Maybe Harry doesn't give a stuff what anyone thinks. He's just chosen someone for himself and maybe he's sick of the media and maybe he doesn't like people like you having a running commentary mm. on his life. It is his life. Sort of, but then again, I just paid £2.3 million as, <gasps> as a taxpayer in order to redevelop Frogmere Cottage for him and his wife. I just paid for his wife to sit in the royal box at Wimbledon. That went well. I just, yeah, that was splendid. She wouldn't let anyone take a photograph of herself and ask to be sat alone. So, <laughs> give and take, go leave the royal family, abdicate, whoop, whoop, off you go. My concern about Meghan is that she's allowing her PR to be driven from America. So she's, so, so her American friends, her American uh, court, as you will, Oprah, George Clooney, Amal Clooney, Serena Williams, all standing up for her, which is good. But it's, it's, it, it, it's from the perspective of America as opposed to the perspective of Britain. Andrew Moore. Stop it famously wrote a best-seller about Harry's mum, Princess Diana. And in Meghan Markle, he sees history repeating itself. I remember... Wait for it. Princess Diana, she was called the fairy tale princess when she first married Prince Charles. Within a year, she's been called a fiend and a monster because, her, because a lot of uh, members of staff, bodyguards, valet, private secretaries had left. Okay. Fergie, 
um, Duchess of York starts off as a breath of fresh air, great friend of the Queen, goes carriage driving, um, goes uh, horse riding with the Queen and Prince Philip. Are you serious? And then within a matter of months, she's dubbed Freebie Fergie because she asked for a discount on a kitchen. So, you know, it's, this is what's happened. As colourful as the British royal family's always been, their whiteness has dominated. And that brings us to a sensitive subject. I think that's where people go with this. If, if I criticise Meghan as well, okay. you can hear I am, people say, well, you're racist. And honestly, it's not even a second thought to me. It only, only comes up in the minds of those who are truly racist, and that's never people like me. I'm just observing the dress is better on Kate, how she wears it is better. So this racist thing is really old and tired, but I think it's just people's way of sort of saying, you must not criticise Meghan. The 